Today I'm going to be comparing M-Sculpt machines. These two machines are high EMT or M-Sculpt machines. They actually build muscle. This is a small portable version from My Chai Wei. It has a single paddle and the machine base. This is a dual paddle high EMT machine from MTS Aesthetics and it's quite a bit larger than this small portable one and it has a lot more features. So I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of them today and show you how both of them work. They're both really great machines and I, I really love doing these kind of videos because I like both of these machines. I do have a tendency to, to lean towards one more than the other, but you'll see that at the end of the video. These are my favorite kind of videos because I love comparing machines side by side and show you guys the different features that each of them have to offer. So if this has sparked your interest, please consider subscribing to my channel. So on my channel, I do all kinds of body sculpting and body contouring, and I feature all kinds of different machines that help you achieve the goals that you're looking for. So today is all about building muscle. These are two di very different machines. They both do the same thing. They both build muscle, but they're two very different machines, and they're two very different price points. This is a small portable machine from My Chai Wei, and it runs about $900. This is a deluxe model from MTS Aesthetics. It has two paddles and runs about $3,000. I'm gonna go through both of these machines with you side by side so you can see exactly how they operate, exactly how they build muscle. I've gotten some great results from these machines, I have to tell you, and I will have some before and afters at the end of the video. They both build muscle. They are both high EMT machines. They both use electromagnetic muscle stimulation. So they just have different features in both of these machines. So let's start with the smaller Mai Chai Wei. So this is the smaller Mai Chai Wei paddle, and this is the MTS Aesthetics paddle. This one is a little bit bigger around here with a smaller tail, where this one kind of has a bigger tail, so you can kind of see. side by side. This one is a little bit bigger. They both weigh about the same. The Mai Chai Wei is very basic. This is all that it has. But what I really like about this paddle is it has these round circles right here. I'm trying to get the best possible lighting. These round circles right here. And when you use a high EMT or an M Sculpt machine, this is where all the power is. It's in the center of this paddle. So it'll have these little round pieces right here on all of these paddles, it has these. And so this is the center. This is where you're gonna get all of the power right here. And what I like about this paddle is it has these circles that show you where the center is. So you can actually put this little circle on whatever body part or whatever muscle that you're working on and you can kind of center it in. Where this handle from the MTS Aesthetics has the circles so you can kind of see and judge where the center is, but it doesn't have the little circles where you can actually center it in on, that mu on whatever muscle that you're working on. This also has a switch here that you can actually start the machine from the paddle where the Mai Chai Wei does not have that. So you could actually strap this on to your body and start it here. And it actually starts the machine. You can also pause it here as well. So I really like that about this machine is that this handle is that it has this button to start and stop it. But, but I like this handle because it has the circles where you can pinpoint the muscle. So like I said, this is a very basic model from Mai Chai Wei. It does not have a handle holder. Where you can see that with the MTS Aesthetics model, I have two holders that actually hold the handles up off of the machine. This doesn't have that, so you have to figure out where you're gonna lay the hand, the hand piece. I've just been setting it right here on this little table 
next to it to hold that because it's such a reasonable price at under $900, do you really need a, a handle holder? It would be nice to have a handle holder, but like I said, you can just set it on the floor or on the table next to you. They both come with straps to actually strap the handle onto your body. So you would strap, put the strap here and then put it around whatever body part that you're working on and the strap holds this next to your body. So this does not have anything to hold the strap because this is just the basic model. Whereas this handle actually has a little nipple right there. You can see it right here. So when you're strapping your strap on, you can actually place the strap through that little nipple right there. And it holds it so when you strap it on. So that's the difference between these machines is little things like that, where this Deluxe machine has these, these really nice extra features where the My Chai Wei basic model doesn't have these extra little features. Okay, that was the handle portion of the machine. So now I'm gonna go through the actual machine with you to show you exactly how it works. So with this, this basic model, what I really love about this basic model is that it comes with this really nice box that you can store it in. And because it's small, it's really lightweight. It's not heavy at all. The heaviest part of this machine is actually the handle, the, the hand piece. This is the heaviest part of this machine. So when you disconnect the handle from the machine, the actual machine is very lightweight. Whereas the MTS Aesthetics machine is heavy. This is a big machine and it's very heavy. With the handles and the machine, it's gonna be about 60 pounds. So, and it doesn't come with a box. I was really disappointed that it didn't come with a box because my really nice cool sculpting machine that I got from MTS Aesthetics came with a really nice box like this. But this, I think, is because it's so heavy that it actually came in a wooden crate. So, and that's what I have it on right now is still the wooden crate because I haven't, I haven't purchased the cart yet for it because you really do need to have a, some kind of a cart for this machine. It's not lightweight and portable like the smaller affordable one. This one you actually need like a utility cart to be able to move it around and maneuver it. Because like I said, this is heavy. This is a beast. This is about 60 pounds. And so you're not going to be able to, to just set it next to you on the couch and do your treatments because you actually need something for this to sit on. So that I'm not real crazy about because it's so big and bulky. But if I had a salon, then I would absolutely lean more towards this one. Because it has the dual handles, you're able to do more body parts at the same time. Whereas the smaller, more affordable, compact model, you're only able to do one body part at a time. So that's kind of the, the give for these two machines is that you can do multiple body parts with this one and only do one body part with this one. You can purchase, that has two handles and has handle holders on the side, but it's gonna cost you about double the price. So it'll be about $1,800 as opposed to $900. So that's kind of the give that you're, that you're, that's kind of what you're giving up when you're purchasing the, the dual handles, is it's gonna cost you. Where this one is already set up for $3,000, you have the dual handles and you have the machine, but you're gonna need a cart for it. So now I'm gonna go through the settings on the basic model and show you exactly how you can use it. And then we'll move on to the larger MTS Aesthetic and Sculpt Machine. Okay, so this is the basic model from My Chai Wei, and it has the auto and a manual. The auto automatically comes up, and you're going to set it for whatever uh, pertains to you. So whatever age you are, whatever body part that you're working on. To be honest, I always go at a younger. I always pick the 40 to 49. I know I fall in this category, but I'm just not willing to admit it. So I always go to the lower category age and then whatever arm, whatever you're working on. And today we're doing arms. 
And so this is going to bring up the, so this is for beginners, so this would be considered low, and then it would move all the way up in intensity. M5 is the strongest intensity. And then this little screen will tell you how long it's going to cycle through each of the different modes. So the first one is gonna go for a minute. You can choose whether you want to go all out 100% or whatever intensity that you're comfortable with. Then you can set the time for whatever time you want your treatment to go for. It's recommended to do about 30 minutes. And this little arrow will let you scroll through whatever mode it is. So when you hit start and it's gonna automatically go. So it's gonna go for one minute on that mode. It slowly builds up and then it fades down as the contractions up to the maximum contraction. Now it's switching over to the next mode and it's gonna go for five minutes on this mode. So you can hear it fading in and out as it reaches the, the top of the contraction and then it'll fade back down. So this one will go for a minute and you can hear how it's slowly working up to the, fine, the full contraction and slowly fade back down to release it. And if you wanted to skip ahead to the next mode, you just hit this little arrow and it takes you to the next mode that's gonna run for five minutes. back down. So that's the auto. Now the manual, same thing. You're going to enter in your information, whatever you're working on. We're doing arms still. I'm still going to choose the younger age, but this time I get to set all the settings. So it has the F1, F2, F3, but I'm going to set them for the highest that they can go and show you exactly how it works. So F1 is going to go for five minutes. And there again, you can hear it slowly reaching up to the final contraction and then slowly releasing. Then if you wanted to jump ahead to F2, you just hit the arrow button and it brings up F2. F2 is gonna go for a full minute. Jump ahead to F3. So that's the kind of that's the difference in the different modes. F1, F2, F3. Like I said, you can change the time, you can change the hertz, you can change it to whatever you want it to be because it's grabbing the muscle and holding it. It's causing the muscle to contract and hold for that length of time. That's what actually causes the muscle to build. So I wanna show you exactly how hard this machine hits. It hits hard. So I have it turned all the way up. I showed you the settings earlier. I have it turned all the way up to 100 on the auto mode. It's gonna to continue to cycle through all of those modes on auto. Ideally, you would be laying down or sitting down and have this strapped to your arm. You wouldn't be holding it for the whole time. But because I'm trying to film it to give you guys the best angles so that you guys can actually see how hard this little machine hits, I'm just holding it in the area. Placing this circle 
on my tricep. You can see how it contracts it. Contracts my whole bicep. So this is going to be equivalent to 20,000 reps with a weight. So now it's going through the next mode. So now I'm going to show you the settings and the features of the deluxe model from MTS Aesthetics. So with the MTS Aesthetics, it has the same kind of screen set up. It has the auto and the same thing. You set in whatever pertains to you. Only with this one, it instead of having the M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, it actually has a high, medium, and low. So you can change it to whatever you want, high, medium, or low. And with this, the same thing, you can change the intensity and the time, and then start. So unlike the My Chai Way, it doesn't slowly work its way up. It just automatically works that whole time, that whole contraction. It doesn't fade in and fade out. Once it's, once it's going, it's going. And it's going to go through all three, the F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, cycling through each of them. So let's go back. So that's what I like about this machine is that it doesn't slowly work its way up to the contraction and slowly let go. It automatically grabs the muscle and works the muscle the whole time. That's why you get the better results with this machine, in my opinion. So let's go to the manual. So same thing, you can set all the settings to whatever you want. But what's different about this machine is you can actually change the time where this machine This machine, you can't change the time. You can only change the strength. You can't change the time that each of them are gonna hit. Where this one in the, in the manual mode, you can actually change the time. So I can change, if I want mode F1 to last for five minutes, I just turn it up to five minutes. If I want F2 mode to go for five minutes, I just change the time. So that's the difference between the two, mo the two machines is that this one is more customizable. This one is pretty much set. You can't really customize it. Where this one, you can absolutely customize your workout. And I believe that's why you get the better results. This also has F4, F5, and F6, and those work in conjunction with F1, F2, F3. So this has three more modes than the Mai Chai Wave one. You can also get the pelvic floor attachment for this machine. I don't have it, but it's available for purchase. Whereas this machine doesn't offer anything like that. It is what it is. It's set and it is what it is. Now I'm going to show you how hard the, the one from MTS Aesthetics hit. I have him on the same settings. I'm just going to go through the same thing with you. So you can see how hard this is hitting. And 
And like I said, the ideal circumstances would be that you'd be laying down with this strapped onto your muscle. But because I'm trying to show you guys how hard these machines hit, I'm just holding it in place. You can really see my triceps jumping. So you guys get the idea on how hard these machines hit and how hard they cause your muscle to contract. You're gonna get a good workout regardless of which machine you decide to purchase, which machine you decide to use. You're going to get a good workout. My arms are going to be so sore tomorrow because I use both of these machines on both of my arms. So you're going to get great results. But in my opinion, you're going to get better results with this machine. It's the higher end machine. It holds the contraction longer. This is a great machine and, it's, and it does a great job but it peaks and then lets, and lets the contraction go. So it slowly works up to the contraction and then lets the contraction go. Where this one grabs the contraction the whole time. It holds that muscle the whole time. So that's kind of the difference between the two. This is just the basic model and it's gonna give you a great workout, but this is the deluxe model that has a few more features and you're gonna get better results faster with this machine. You're still going to get great results with this machine, but you might have to use it longer, whereas this one you're going to get them quick. This, but it's kind of a trade-off because this is a light portable model and this is a heavy salon quality where you need a cart, where this you can just set it on the couch next to you. You can set it on the table next to your couch. So that's kind of a push. 900 as opposed to 3000. These are my before and afters that I achieved by using this deluxe model from MTS Aesthetics. In my opinion, these machines are great for someone who has mobility issues. I have rheumatoid arthritis, for example, and so sometimes I have a really hard time working out, but I still want to be able to build muscle. These machines give me that luxury that I'm able to actually build muscle without actually going to the gym or lifting heavy weights. I can sit on the couch and build muscle. And that's what's so great about modern technology is that they have come up with so many different ways you can achieve the results that you're looking for. And as always, everything that I use in my videos will have links in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Like and subscribe and leave a comment down below.